All right, this is a quick video on how to set up the new study, AMT. Um, what did I call it? AMT multimode signal. All right, so to add the study to your chart, go to add custom study. It will be in your collections, AMT collection, and it's right there, multimode signal. So what I did to show what this is, is basically you get to create your own um, signal for yourself based on what you want. I'm going to start two signals. I'm gonna show you two, diff two to three different signals. Um, so what I ended up doing is I'm just doing an initial balance, okay? Uh, this is Pacific time. So I got a Pacific start time, 6.30, 7.30. Uh, first hour, I am just plotting the highs and the low of that. Those are the lines right there. And now what I want is, so if we go to the opening, right? We opened here after one hour of movement, um, 7.30, the line stopped. That was the high. That was the low. What I would like to know is how can I have a signal without using color condition? Color condition has limited things, right? And as everybody knows, sometimes you just want the break of it and you want one signal to show, not all of them, because if you use color condition, it is hard to state, I just want the first bar to not keep on showing me every single signal for the day. And, you know, for whatever reason. And also I added it because not everybody knows how to write um, an alert, right? An alert right here using um, simple Excel formulas, essentially. So this is a way to automate that and make it easier for everybody. So we go into here, go to settings, and let's take a look at it. All right, we got mode. We have multiple different modes. We have reclaim. We have breakout to the upside. We have a breakdown, which is a short trade. We have a breakout to the downside, right? Opposite of that, we have a mean reversion long and a mean reversion short. Simple as that, okay? Um, what this study will allow you to do is, let's just say we wanna do a breakdown or a breakout to the downside, strictly breakout. All right, so now this, you have to pick your level that you want. I'm gonna show you two different things, so we'll do uh, short for the initial balance, right? IBB short. That's the initial balance. Um, one thing to note is I did not connect it on, pur on purpose. So it's faster processing, whatnot. I just want you to pick your study, which you need to know ahead of time is your level subgraph. Which one is it? Zero allows up to 60. All right. So if you don't know that, you go to the study, go to the subgraph, and what is the level you want? All right, that's the level. So it's a SG9. I want this level to be the level that I want um, the trigger on. So we'll go back to the study. I'm gonna go ahead and click initial balance and I'll take this to number nine. All right, so low. So you have a trigger condition. You have a high, low, and last price, okay? So basically when a low is made, so low, or you can do a close, last price is a close, okay? So it closes outside of this level uh, because we are doing uh, a, a uh, let's go back down here, a breakout. So when, you know, everybody knows what a breakout is. When price just breaks a level, um, one tick or higher, that is technically a breakout. Um, and let's, and I'll do some drawings for it if you don't know what any of this stuff is, but you know, if you're trading, making your own signals, you should already know what this is. Um, so anyway, we'll do a low, okay? Delta enabled, we got a delta surge. So delta surge is what I can't remember asked for. So what this is, is asking, and delta surge will probably be better for volume charts or tick charts, um, not really time. Now, all this is, is telling me, I want the previous bar to be whatever delta it is in the current trigger bar. So let's just say, Somebody wrote 10%. So current trigger bar has to be 10% higher than the previous bar, and the current trigger bar must be plus 10% or higher. So the current trigger bar could be 20%, but the previous bar 
must be 10% or less. It cannot be 15% and 20%. Does that make sense? Because in between, it's only five. So it's a, it's a Delta surge, meaning lots of Delta coming in. You can enable, disable that if you don't use stuff like that. Um, like I said, better suited for volume or tick charts when you want those type of bars. Um, first signal enabled. So what that means is I just want one signal per day. Okay. Um, for that off tick, uh, what I ended up doing here is you pick what you want. Text or triangle. We'll do triangle for now. Um, I like to do a different color. Let's do that color for shorts. Okay. So right now it's, it's break down to the downside. Triangle. You see this? It's this triangle up. But because once you hit apply, and I will show you what this does, when you when I hit apply, one second. Da -da. Let's work. Uh, I forgot. I have 300 days loaded in here. Um, hit apply. Signal automatically changes to that. And I want to make sure that I did it right. Let's see what did I what what did I do? I want to make sure I did it right. SG9. All right, so multi-level breakdown downside, SG9, low. Yes, 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 yes. No. Oh, yes. Yeah. This needs to be 730. Um, why do I need to do that? Okay, um, and here's why. The reason you need to do that is because it's initial balance, right? This particular level does not exist until 7.30, 7, 29, 59 seconds, all right? When you're using things like that, uh, market generated information, you have to set a start time, all right? So you have to set a start time for this particular thing. So in this, in this instance, 7.30 is, come on, 7.30 is, uh, where is it, uh, right here, oh, oh, right there, this candle, 7.30. So until we breach one of these levels, in this case, we're looking for shorts, that is that level, right? So we got a triangle down short, perfect. That worked, right? Now, let's just say you go, um, I really want text instead, right? Because I'm going to have multiple things. That's fine. Just go to text and write IBB short or, you know, short be whatever breakdown you know whatever you want doesn't matter hit apply there it is uh, i'll make it shorter however you want you can make your own um text doesn't really matter you can make your different fonts let's put a five we'll go much smaller can't really see that you know so and then you can change your color so whatever color it is the text or the triangle it's going to do that this you ignore it's nothing going to do because we're overriding it here with text all right, nothing you have to do on this side. Now, if you want to alert this when this shows up, what you can do is go here. All right, all you have to type in is IG, uh, sorry, whatever ID number this is, right? So ID3, ID3.SG1. It's always going to be SG1 because that's all you have. Just say greater than zero, all right? So all you got to say, and then you can attach, you know, um, a, um, a um, what do you call this? Sorry, alert sound to it. You'll have to create your own alert sound if you want, unless you want like, some, some sounds that you already have in there. Um, so you can create your own thing. If you guys don't know how to do that, um, you should by now. But if you don't, you can. Um, I will probably create a different video on how to set up alerts and uh, because it doesn't go with this video. But you can create an alert sound for yourself if you want it. And I will, I will probably make a video just, just for that. So right there, we have that signal. Okay, great. Done deal. What else? Let's do this. Let's open up uh, another level, one of my level studies that I have. Okay. And let's just say I have the IBB short right there. Okay. Oh, look, you know, there is no more. So if we keep scrolling, let's find some new ones. This is a one minute chart, by the way. And there's the next one, right? There's that. So it's probably this one because it's in the middle between the candles. So depending how you write it, you know, you don't want to write it too long. I mean, you can. It's really totally up to you. And if you want to do a triangle, change your back right there. You want to change the size of the triangle. That's the only thing you can do is here. All right. 
just change it. There you go. Okay. Colors, just change it here. You don't have to do anything else. I'm trying to make everything on this page so you don't have to keep on going back and forth. Now, let's just say you go like, all right, it's time for me to um, let's do a reclaim, right? I what's what is a reclaim? So we'll go and see if one happens somewhere. Let's see what level can we do. All right. Uh, yeah, perfect. Let's let's go right here because I know it's going to happen here. I'm going to duplicate this. All right. Um, I forget if you have a lot of days loaded because it's going to take time. You duplicate it. Um, you know, you may take two seconds for it to upload. Um, so I want to do a reclaim. What is a reclaim? Reclaim is when price get dips into a level. So this is a level. When it dips into it and comes back out, that is a reclaim. All right. So I and check this out. So it's it's already set up for a short. Well, because this is a long tra long trade, that is a long trade, and that's a long trade. It's automatically a, you know going to change it whatever I pick. So if I pick this, um, and I'll just hit apply to this, and you will see that automatically this changes. You don't have to go back and forth. It's going to know what to do. Obviously, I do not want the IB. I want a different thing. So uh, this is my 12B. And now, again, if you don't remember, go in here. Like I know what this level is. All right. That is my R1 or S1. So because of the coloring and all that, it will be here twice. You can pick either one, 15 or 16. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick 15 in this case. All right, so I will pick 15, all right? I want when there's a low, when a low is made, no surge, don't need it, first sign. Yeah, I don't want the first sign, I want all of them, but we'll, I'll show you. Off ticks, um, 10, um, I want triangle. So this doesn't matter, you can leave this you know, blank, it's irrelevant. So now there's two of them, right? They happen twice, this, and they're technically that 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 technically that close is right outside or on it. That is going to be a trigger, and because this was below it, that's going to be a trigger. So there's two of them. Same thing here, just depending how it is. If I hit um, where is it? If I hit the low, if I hit say I want close, that means I had no full close below because I picked the low, and the low is right there that closed above. So that's nothing. However, if you go up here. This close below clearly, right? So Doji candle doesn't matter, but the close is below the level. And now the next close is outside of it. That is the trigger. So that's the trigger condition. Uh, I'm like, you know what? I don't need to close in below. I just want to dip. So the dip is right there. And the, and the next close outside, that is the trigger for me. All right. Um, uh, so I'm showing all of them. This one. I can say no to that because I want every single one of them. It does not matter. Um, these this level is particularly known ahead of time. All right, so it it does not matter. There was no reclaim here. Nothing's going to show up. But you know this just kept going. There's possibility reclaims. You had two of them here. You had one. This one didn't work. You had two here that worked. You know, and then you're going to have a bunch here. And this was probably closing time right there. Probably the time you don't want to freaking do anything. Uh, actually, this was earnings. Um, was this, I forget who this was. Whoever it was for these earnings, that's what it was because it's um, after hours. This is specific time, by the way. So that's what that is. Um, obviously, you should have some brains and ignore stuff like that. I don't have to tell you. So yeah, anyway, so that's uh, Reclaim. You know, you had a bunch right here, you know, so you can do that as you see fit um and there you go so there those are reclaims that happens right it's very very simple now you know again you can go here you can say you know what just give me you know reclaim and i'll say reclaim all of them right it's just what it is they, they just happen to show up that many times this is a one minute um one minute um, chart. So that's, it's going to happen like that. Um, 
I'm not telling you to use a one minute chart. I don't, I do not use a one minute chart. I, this is just a very quick and easy way to write examples um, and, and show that. So, all right. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be one of the balance studies. Like I said, I, I did the initial balance and it's the only thing you have to require when you're writing initial balance type studies. You have to have a start time of when that balance is over and when this can start. That's it. You know, so if I go in here and say, you know what, I, I, I don't want an hour. I, I want the first 15 minutes. All right. So this is going to be 644, um, right? 630 to 644.59. That's going to be the balance for it. All right. We're going to hide and just be aware of this. If we go here. This is still going to start, even though the, you know the levels are different. But this is going to start over here because I said start at seven thirty, even though nothing happened here. We still have that short going, but because the balance is over at six forty five, what I need you to do, what you should do, think about it, six forty five. That's when I can start doing these type of trades. Okay, that's actually where it first happened. And if you want all of them, all you have to do is say note this. Now you have them all, right? You, you don't want all of them. Simple as that. Hit no on that shit. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes. 6.45. You don't want them all. Simple as that. And um, yeah, that's all I have for that. And we want one signal. We don't want all of the signals. This is nice, right? So that's it. Um, let me kill this video real quick. Uh,